Lindstrom firefighters find themselves a man short. This is Mike's gear. That's 20-year volunteer firefighter Mike Gostad. One of the guys actually took it upon themselves one day to come up here and put his jacket like this, just waiting for him to show up. A man who wears actual sunglasses sees life differently. Mike has a very unique personality. He asked his nurse if she knows the difference between a mouth therm thermometer and, and a rectal thermometer, and she asked what, and he said the taste. <laughs> The fire department misses Mike. Very much so. As do his four kids. We're all just trying to make something of ourselves and we're juggling a lot. <laughs> Mike lies in the ICU because of a lung disease and now failing organs. He listens to me talk all the time and now that he has no choice, I just stand in there and talk. <laughs> but it does, I mean, the nurses tell us they know they can tell changes in his stats when he has his kids in there. To get a transplant, you must be sick enough to top the list, but healthy enough to survive surgery. Right now, it's not. Sarah Gostad hopes Mike can get back on that list. It's just too hard to imagine him not being there for all the things my kids have. <sighs> he tries really hard, like, to make sure we're not scared, even though he's terrified himself, so. Meanwhile, a family friend set up a GoFundMe, which has already raised more than $16,000. It's shocking to us. It says a lot about him, but I also think it says a lot about where we're from. In Lindstrom, Aaron Adelson, Care 11 News.